In this demo, I'll show you how to build a streaming data pipeline in Databricks using Delta Live Tables or DLT. And then we'll connect it to Power BI for real-time insights. We'll start by looking at our source data, we'll build a pipeline, and then we'll watch the data stream into Power BI in real time. Let's get started. In the Catalog Explorer, we have a volume called Source, which contains the raw JSON files that we'll use for our DLT pipeline. These files include transactional data that updates continuously. To process the data, we've created a Delta Live Tables pipeline in a notebook. This pipeline is written in SQL, but we could easily just use Python if needed. As you can see, I'm creating a streaming table that ingests data from the files in our source volume. Now, let's actually build the pipeline. In Workflows, I'll create a new DLT pipeline called Fabricon AW load. We're setting this up with serverless compute so we don't have to worry about infrastructure. We'll also enable continuous mode, which means that new data will be automatically processed as it arrives. For the pipeline logic, we'll use our DLT ingest notebook with a reference notebook and the destination will be the Marius Panga schema in the user's catalog, where our cleaned and processed data will be stored. As you can see, I already ran the pipeline. It's processing data from our raw files into structured tables. Let's take a look at what's happening inside. We can see the tables are being created and the data quality checks show that if expectations we laid out are being met. And it also shows how the schema is automatically managed. Let's check out our final output. In the Catalog Explorer, under our target schema, we can have our fact internet sales streaming table. This table is continuously updated as new data flows in. We can verify that the data is streaming in real time by running a quick select statement. As the pipeline runs, we can see the record count is increasing, meaning the data is arriving continuously and working as planned. Now, let's bring this into Power BI. We'll connect directly to Databricks and select the streaming tables that we need. In the Navigator model, we can see all the tables available in Databricks and we'll select the product, sales territory, and internet sales. In the data model view, we can define relationships between tables seamlessly with just a few clicks of a button. With direct query, we're querying Databricks in real time without moving data. And here's the final dashboard monitoring the live sales data coming from and out of streaming tables. We can adjust the refresh interval right now and we'll set it to three seconds to keep it up to date. We can publish to Power BI now. Awesome. So to support this, we actually need Power BI Premium or Fabric Capacity. Um, this will allow for frequent auto page refreshes. And so in the admin portal, you can confirm that the refresh setting is enabled for low latency streaming analytics. As you can see, this setup ensures that teams can work with fresh, reliable data without complex integrations. With our native integration with Power BI, DLT pipelines make it super easy to use streaming data to build real-time dashboards seamlessly.